Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get flash for the iPhone. Now, by flash, I don't mean camera flash, um, where you see that giant shiny light that goes off when you take a picture on a camera, um, or some phones, uh, but actually flash from Adobe, uh, Adobe creators of Adobe Photoshop, Adobe After Effects, and it's their Adobe Flash software that allows us to play video content in most web browsers, except for the uh, iPads, iPod Touches, and the iPhones, Safari web browsers, and all of the approved mobile browsers uh, from the App Store, they don't have Flash capabilities. Now in today's tutorial we won't be using um, Cydia because my Cydia is messed up, and the source that we need is dead in Cydia, it's a dead link. So we're going to be using Rock, and this process is sort of tricky, so try and follow along as best you can. Now, to get Rock, if you don't already have it, and you're jailbroken with Black Rain, you'll have a Black Rain icon, if you haven't poofed it away yet, and you can just click on that. It should open up, and for an iPod Touch user, you should have two options, City and Rock, and for an iPhone user, you should have three options. The last option should be Snow to unlock your iPhone. Now, if you don't have Rock already, you should have it when you first installed Cydia. Uh, you should have installed Rock also because it's an alternative to Cydia just in case Cydia is never working. Rock is much faster and um, Cydia is more reliable than Rock, but in this case Rock is more reliable. So after you clicked on Rock and you see that little green check um, to the right of it, just like that, you can click install in the upper right hand corner and let it unpack Rock and when it's all done you should have a new icon that looks like this it should say rock you want to click on it and you'll be prompted to enter in a password and sign up um, for a rock ID and when that's all done you'll exit out and go back into rock as you can see rock is already loaded way way faster than Cydia has no loading data and all that stuff as you can see it processes the updates down here and not at the top and it's much much faster uh, there's no real wait for anything you guys might not be able to see what I can see on my iPod due to the lag from the VNC but trust me it's pretty fast so what you want to do is you want to click manage and you want to click manage sources now there's going to be two sources that you guys are going to want to add and one of these sources should be the right source but part of it doesn't work so the first source that you want to add is D dot imobile cinema dot com just like that guys and you want to click add source I'm gonna cancel that for now and then you just want to click add again and you want to add repo dot be your whoops your iPhone dot com backslash like that and you want to click add source and I'm gonna cancel it because I already have those two added. Now once you add those two, it should each one of those should add in like 10 seconds. And um, before you do anything else, you want to exit out of Rock right after those two have finished um, uh, adding to your source list. Then you want to head back into Rock. And if you wait a couple seconds, you should see that it should say fetching initial updates or something like that. And that means that it's going to give you some updates for your two sources that you've just added. Now wait until all of that is done, then head back into manage, then click manage sources again, and now when you scroll down to the bottom to where you see user entered like this, you'll now have two blue arrow icons to the right of these. Now normally if you just click on it, it'll say marked for disable, and that's not how you get into the actual thing. You want to click on the little blue arrow icon that pops up or you can alternatively just search but you won't be able to search for that um, the items located in these two sources until all of those updates are done so once it's all done you can just click manage again and head on into the d.imobilecinema.com source and you want to go ahead and click on imobile cinema the first one and you want to click install in the upper right hand corner and so just wait for this to load and you'll just click install and then you'll go back now normally you should install either the BP controller or the SP controller from 
the d.imablecinema.com source, but these two both don't work for me for some reason. They both um, give me a lot of trouble. They just fail to download, and it's a real hassle. So that's why if you go back to your sources and you go to search, or you can go to the repo.beeriphone.com. I prefer to use search because there's so many packages in the uh, Be Your iPhone uh, repo source. So just search for i mobile cinema. And sorry about that U right there. That shouldn't be like that. And here you go. And if you search. The first one that should come up should say community apps. And the f one that you should have, unless you have different sources, should be should say com dot be your IP dot iMobile Cinema SB toggle. Now, um, this is the SB settings toggle, uh, like you saw before, the SB controller. And sorry for the people who have boss press, but you need to go and uninstall that and install SB settings. I'd recommend having SB settings anyway because it's more powerful and I find it's better than boss prefs. And be your iPhone only has the toggle for SB settings. So you want to hit install. And then when that's all done, you can exit out of here. And now at the top, if you scroll your finger along the top, uh, status bar. Um, you should have a new icon that does not look like this. It's different for everyone depending on what theme it says, what theme you have, sorry. Um, but it should say IMC under every single um, one, which stands for iMobile Cinema. And basically, if you click on it, it'll start to load and it'll say off. And then if you click on it again, it will turn it back on. And this is a toggle. I just leave it on all the time. It doesn't drain any battery or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. So now I'm just going to show you guys a demonstration. You won't really be able to see anything, but I'm just going to show you guys that you now can play Flash content in your browser. Note this does not um, work on every uh, website. For example, Hulu does not work. So if you want to watch your favorite TV episodes and stuff like that on Hulu.com, this will not work. But there's plenty of TV, mobile TV apps from City and the App Store that will allow you to play your favorite TV shows and such such things as that. And so here I'm just loading a normal web page, yahoo.com. And this is a site where the Flash content uh, does work now. Previously, under video playlists or any video content, there would have been a little blue Lego icon that would have appeared, and that means you need Adobe Flash to play this. But with this plugin, now you can actually see the picture, and if you click on it, it'll bring you to a page where you can either download it, and then from there, you can access the file through iFile if you have iFile and it tells you the exact directory to go through which is backslash var mobile library downloads and you can click on the file from there and it will play for you in iFile or you can just click play in media player right now it'll play as a normal YouTube type um, video so I just click play in media player it's loading the movie as you can see it's black because um, you guys won't be able to uh, see anything due to VNC and uh, VNC prevents you guys from seeing it but right now if I click play um, it's playing right now for me and look you can see three four five six you guys just can't see the video but I can so it works perfectly fine just note that all not all websites um, support this plugin so that's just a little downside to it but it's still a great plugin to have definitely recommend getting this guys um, please rate comment and subscribe to my channel guys and I'll see you guys in the next video alright bye